We are exploring. Welcome to part 3 of my Walnut Ridge Arkansas Trilogy of videos. We are here at the Wings of Honor Museum located at the Walnut Ridge Regional Airport. This is a military museum with an emphasis on airplanes, but they have all kinds of stuff. Let's check it out. This is a diorama of the Walnut Ridge Regional Airport and this was a flying school in World War II where young pilots who would go overseas for all kinds of plane missions would earn their first wings. Here is the entrance area that's recommended by the museum. That guy looked a little grim. There is a lot to read. Here is some regional history, cotton and and household things, but most of it is really military. There's a safe and on top of it I have no clue what this is. It looks like a typewriter, but it's not. Uncle Sam needs your skill. There are mannequins dressed up in uniforms and many, many items. The majority of which is related to flying. They have lots of items here. And there's another mannequin wearing a uniform. And here they staged like a little soldier's cabin with a crude bed and a, and a stove or oven. Tons of photographs. And over there in the distance, there's one of the guys from the museum hosting... A tour. Here's that little soldier's room. There's a Japanese flag flying. This is all sorted neatly. There are machine guns. I like this military stuff and to get so close to it and check this out. I don't know a whole lot about guns, but since there was a Japanese flag flying over that one, I believe that was a Japanese model. This is certainly a Jeep from American production. And you can tell this place is huge because there are vehicles in here and even a plane that they hung from the ceiling. But we're going to see that in a minute as we are walking through the wings of Honor Museum here in Walnut Ridge, Arkansas. There are more rifles and you see, this also looks like a Japanese flag, so you can tell, oh yeah, this is German stuff with a swastika. I am German, but I tell you, I do not support all this Nazi stuff or discrimination against people. There is just an abundance of German stuff here at the the death of Hitler. He killed himself in his bunker at the end of the war because he was too much of a coward to face the consequences of his actions. Tons of photos and more German items. This is really an interesting museum and there's the plane I I was talking about. This looks like it's a trainer plane where young pilots would get lessons in and start flying. I don't know what that vehicle is. I'm going to pan over after we're looking at these guys. I'm not sure what this is. It has a steering wheel and some sort of engine. Is it electric? There's another Jeep over here. And it looks like they're constantly, not all the time, but regularly adding things to their collection. There are some dioramas. And this guy here, he's wearing a, a gas mask, another Jeep. All right, pardon our mess. New exhibits coming soon. And that's what I meant. 
they are changing things over time so if you come back here a couple of years later you might see things that you have not seen the last time you were here this guy is standing in the corner and here's an old fire engine from the walnut ridge volunteer fire department and plane models in all kinds and sizes this is really neat and there's just the cockpit of a plane and they have some steps on the other side so you can climb in and take a photo there's an engine i hope you enjoyed watching this video as much as i enjoyed making it